Welcome everyone to day 25 of our month of May for Mary. One of the most beautiful poems to Our Lady is called the Stabat Mater. If you've ever made the Stations of the Cross, you've probably heard it. The English translation starts with, By the cross her station keeping stood the mournful mother weeping. Personally, I don't think that's the best translation. I don't really think it does justice to this exquisite poem. The original, of course, is in Latin. The Stabat Mater was composed in Italy in the 1200s by Blessed Jacopone da Todi, a Franciscan friar, a great poet, and a great lover of holy poverty of St. Francis. Jacopone wrote many beautiful poems, but the Stabat Mater is rightly the most celebrated. It has been the meditation of saints. It's been set to music by great composers. It's even in the liturgy, which is no small honor. Before becoming a, Fr a Franciscan, Jacopone da Todi was a nobleman and a lawyer, and he was also a sinner. But God blessed him with a good and faithful wife named Vana. Vana would be his salvation, but she would die young. Only God knows how many sacrifices this holy woman offered up for the conversion of her husband. One day he insisted that she accompany him to a public tournament. She was sitting in the stands with other noble ladies when the stand suddenly collapsed and Vana was killed. Her husband was devastated, even more so when he discovered the penitential haircloth girdle she had been wearing in reparation for his sins. He resolved then and there to radically amend his wife. He gave all his possessions to the poor and went around in rags, happy to become the mockery of the town. He asked to be accepted by the Franciscans as a brother, but was initially refused due to his past life. Later, though, he was accepted. God inspired Jacopone with a great love for Our Lady and compassion for her sorrows. I'd like to think that Vana also had a part in his human and artistic formation. Here are the first stanzas of his poem in a more literal translation. The sorrowful mother stood weeping by the cross on which her son hung. Through her soul in mourning, sorrowing and grieving, the sword has passed. Oh, how sad and stricken was that blessed one, mother of an only child. The loving mother watched, mourning and suffering, the punishment of her glorious son. Who is human and would not weep if he saw the mother of Christ in such suffering? Flower for today, meditate on the words of the Stabat Mater. Let's offer a Hail Mary now in Gregorian chant for all the mothers who have lost their children, that God may comfort them and give them faith in the next life. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus, Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre, Oh. Uh.